How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 16 Arsenal career mode. As you remember from the last episode, we played our first game of preseason against LA Galaxy, which we did draw one all, but we are on to the next um, of the American Challenge Cup, which is against the Portland Timbers. And at the end of the episode, we did make that offer for uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but we have not heard from any... Uh, any offer yet for our players or in regards to the Ibrahimovic transfer. So without further ado, let's go head straight into the game and let's see how we go. So as you may remember, we did play our second team against the LA Galaxy. However, after drawing that game, I feel it is a good opportunity to get our first team a get bit of a run out. So as you can see, we have our standard normal first team, uh, excluding Sanchez who is still at the Copa America. So, without him, we have brought in a few of the younger players on the and uh, just to give them a few minutes so they can get a year or so out on loan. But instead of Sanchez, we have put Welbeck on the left. So, let's head out and let's go see how we do. Okay, we'll cut. Good turn. Good turn. Can you get that? Oh, no. First corner of the game, go to Portland Timmons. They have been opening stages of this first half. But that is an easy ball for Chick to click. And we can possibly counter now. Can you get that? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That should be 1-0 to them. That was a poor throw by Chick. And he scuffed his line. Okay, that's better. Come on, Welbeck. Come on. Yes, Danny Welbeck. Come on. Finish that. you got to finish that. Oh, my goodness. Someone finish. How has that not even gone in? Well, all they're doing now is just playing it around the back. No check. Good, good, good. Alright, so that's half time. Nil all at the moment, but we really should have gone ahead with that chance from Danny Welbeck. But we have fluffed our lines. They have had their few chances as well. However, we have made them fluff their lines. But it's half time, nil all, and let's get out there and let's go win this game. Come on, Ozil. No. Okay, Giroud, finish that. Oh, what an... Oh, my God. I, I can't even speak. That assist from Ozil. Look at this. He's having his shirt tugged right there. Boom, with his weak foot right between the two defenders. You could say it is bad defending, but that is what he's known for. Bias, yes, but no one can deny the fact that he's one of, if not the best number 10 player Nate. Playmaker in the world right now. Come on. Okay, okay. Here we go. And, yep. Walcott. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. No, 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 no. Get there. No. Wow. Are you kidding me? Poor pass from Murdersack. He doesn't make up for it. And Arteta, he's too weak to hold him off. And Ben at the near post check. Ah, it's one all. Oh no, he's done me. He's done me. No. Well done, Murdersacker. Hold him. Come on, Ox. Come on, Ox. Come on. Get there. Please. Finish. Riff. How? Why? Why go? Oh my goodness. Well, that's another draw against a low sided team. I think Legendary is a little too difficult for me at the moment, so I may switch it down to world class. However, we should be beating the likes of Portland Timbers, but it is preseason, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Let's go ahead and get into the next game. So, after what my scout has found in Germany, he has pulled up Holger Badstuber. Really good player, 80 overall for 26 year old, not too bad, good uh, backup in regards to our second team, however he can be quite injury prone which is what I'm a little bit afraid of. I think he is, a, is their squad rotation player, the chief executive said that this could happen, so I think I'm going to go off uh, straight ahead with 7 million, see what uh, Bayern Munich say about that. And as you can see right here, Sporting have 
uh, set a price tag of 29 million for Carvalho. Maybe a little bit too much, but don't forget we do have 55 million plus players to sell. We can also swap players like swap him for Arteta plus money. And as you can see right there, 42 million for Ibrahimovic. I think that's a little bit too much for a 34 year old. But we'll try and negotiate with him because I would really like him. If not, my other bet would be Iguain. So what I am going to do is now offer sorry, offer 17 and a half million plus Arteta for Carvalho and see what they will do about that. So now again I'm going to offer this is gonna be like my last offer. If not, I will sign him up on a pre-contract for next season. But I am going to offer 30 million plus with Thomas Rosicki for Ibrahimovic. I'm really hoping to get him, but if we can't, it's not a big deal. So this is interesting now. Chelsea have accepted 5 million for Bertrand Traore. I think I will offer him a 5 year contract with a future first team player, but do not increase wages. Just to see what he will think about it. If he accepts it, then we will sign him up because I still want to get Ibrahimovic, but if we sign Ibris for whatever reason and yep then we will just go ahead with Ibra and not Traore. PSG have now said that they want eight and a half million for Adrian Rabio instead of the six million. Eight and a half maybe maybe not I'm not too sure I think I'm just gonna go off a uh, 7250 just to see what they say hopefully they will accept that one player who I have been keen on for a while has been Martin Caceres, 81 rated, 28 years old, and he's only on 80,000 a week, which is 20 more than uh, Bad Stuber, but he's rated one higher. I think they're right there, 5.6 and 7.4. I think if we go ahead and offer five and a half, then Juve will definitely think about it. And we have a transfer offer for Olivier Giroud, 14 and a half million from Everton. No thank you, I am looking to keep Giroud for the season unless a crazy offer comes through, but I doubt that it will. Well, Bayern Munich have just straight up said no for Badstuhl because they think the sum is too low, so I think we'll just give a miss and go for Caceres instead. Uh, PSG because they're not interested in the player and the cash is not uh, enough on its own. So, I will give it one more go, but this time to 34 if they stay no then I'm just gonna get them on the pre-contract because I can't really do much for that another player that has popped up on the scout report has been Nabil Fekir obviously Arsenal are linked to him in real life and I try to try keep this uh, career mode as realistic as possible so 13.3 to 15.7 I think I'm just gonna go off a uh, 11 and a half million just to see what Leon say hopefully they will accept that though which would be an absolute bargain for him nevertheless we are heading into the final game of the episode which will be against Paris Saint-Germain we are looking to win this game because PSG are top of the group and if we win then we will definitely be heading into the next round of the champ of the Champions Challenge Cup which obviously we do want for that extra bit of transfer money but PSG are a strong team and obviously Ibrahimovic and Rabio are there so let's see how they come up against us and see whether we want to sign them or not. No, watching Ibra. For f yeah, well that's what Ibrahimovic can do to you. Just like that, like a knife through butter, Verratti threads a ball through to Ibrahimovic and he just slots away calmly past the hapless check. Good save check. Oh my gosh. This this game. What? I'm sorry, but what is Check doing? He saves it there, which is great. Where is he going? Okay, this guy, come on. Come on. Riff in the box. Surely. Yes. Is that a red? Is that a red for Maxwell? Please. Yellow. Come on, Santi. Top left. Top left. Top left. Yes. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Okay. Okay. Just kick. Okay. That's how you celebrate now. Are you alright? Okay. So it's half time. 
PSG have a 2-1 lead over us right now. Poor, poor start by us to concede two goals within 20 minutes, but Giroud did get fouled in the box, and Kazula tucked it away into the top left corner. We need to keep the ball more in order to open up the space, so that's down to me and the players. So let's get out there and let's show them what we can do. Okay, come on. Come on. Frank shot that. Pass it in. To there. Oh, no. Ozil. Oh. Why would you use your right foot? It was harder to miss than it was to score. Okay, give it to... Come on, Ox. Come on, Ox. Tis your route. Tis your route. There's your route. Come on. Yes! That is exactly what we want. Oxalay Chamberlain running down the wing and straight away getting a first assist of this uh, Challenge Cup. Look at that. Delightful floated left ball. The defender could do nothing about it and Giroud just nods at home. Too easy. Doesn't even have to jump for it. That's exactly what we want. Now can we get a third? Come on. Come on, Santi. Right there. To Ramsey. Oh, God. Oh, Ox. He got taken out. Surely. How? How was that not a pin? Oh, my goodness. I think we've just, we've just been robbed of the game, surely. No. Ah. Well, that's it. It was a good comeback. However, I felt we should have at least had a penalty. But let's go and see what the table looks like now. And see what that result means now. We've been knocked out of the tournament. Oh my goodness, that is not a good start to this career mode. We've been knocked out of the tournament already, and now our next game is against the Community Shield against Chelsea. Oh goodness, no. And there we have it. Sporting have accepted 17 and a half and Arteta for Carvalho, and he wants a hundred thousand a week. I don't know, man. That's really, really pushing it. Mind you, if we do, what will that mean for our budget? It means we're only losing 55000 But... I'm thinking eighty, to be honest. 80000 Five years, an important first team. But just for the moment. And PSG have also accepted the 7.25 for Rabio. Offer on the same 45,000 and squad rotation player. Bertrand Traore, on the other hand, does want the 40,000, so I do think that we should just offer it to him. Five years, sporadic first teamer. Alright, well, Juventus have just completely rejected uh, the Caceres bid, so I will go ahead and offer a new one. It was 5.5, so I'm thinking 6.25. Now this is what I'm talking about, but 34 million plus Rosicki for a player I can sign on a free contract for the start of next season. I'm not too sure about this one to be honest. Ah, screw it, it's Ibrahimovic, you can't deny it, honestly, let's just go for it. I'm just going to say, screw it, just go for it, dude. Right, well, he has accepted the 80,000, which is good, so thank you for Arteta for your services, but welcome, William Carvalho. I'm going to stall on the Rabio deal just for now, and Bertrand Traore... I'm going to stall on that one as well. See, now he wants, Ibrahimovic wants 190,000 per week. In my opinion, that is a lot for a 33 year old. And if I do that, that means we're only going to have around 80,000 left. And plus, how much he's going to cost, it is roughly, we're going to, I'm going to have about 4 million left. And that's going to make us not sign anyone. So, to be honest, I think I am going to give it a miss. But once it comes January, he's going to be the first player that I will come across to sign on a free contract. So, I will not sign him now. I will sign the Bertrand Traore, but I will sign Ibrahimovic in January. Here we go. Rabio. 
This guy looks quite good. Andrew Robertson, one for the future possibly. 73 rated at 21. Not too bad, but not too great to be honest. However, 3.7 to 4.1 million. That's kind of kind of back change pocket. So I will go and offer Halsey 3.8 million for him. And hopefully that's going to acquire his services for us. Okay, so now I have just realized that the training is right here. And I have chosen my five players of Welbeck, Oxlade Chamberlain, Gabriel, Chick, and Traore. I've got Welbeck on chance creation, which is going to increase his attack positioning, finishing, and shot power because I think that's what he does need to focus on. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, I'm mainly uh, after his attacking position because even though it is quite good, needs to be that little bit better. Uh, Gabriel the Arondo, which is kind of an all round uh, of um, defending. Uh, check even because only because he's close to 86 and I do want to increase his goal kicking and our new signing Traore on chance creation as well So I'm going to simulate these now and hopefully they are able to uh, Do very well in the simulation. So here we go Really hoping that they all do well. Here we go. Come on That's not too bad uh, Traore has done really well and same with Gabrielle. Oxlade Chamberlain obviously needs working on Welbeck and Chick not too bad but obviously it's going to be better next time and there we go Hull City have accepted 3.8 million sorry not 30 million my word uh, they have accepted 3.8 million for Andrew Robertson uh, he wants 50,000 a week but I'm thinking maybe 40,000 and Spread at first team, but he can go into our reserves or uh, third team choices for League Cup games, which I will use them in. Anyway, so that is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you did enjoy it. It is going to be a bit of a longer one today, but in our next game, we are heading into the Community Shield final. And having it in regards to transfers, still 22.9 million left and 127,000. So we have a lot of money in regards to wages and uh, who we can sign. Plus, obviously, if we win the Community Shield, we will be getting a lot more uh, a lot more money. So hopefully we are able to win that. But you will see that in the next episode. If you did like this episode, please drop a like. If you like, if you like me, smash the subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. And nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye! How is it going, guys? And it is finally here. Welcome to FIFA 16. I am super excited for this entire new career mode.